Located in central Japan, Hida Takayama is a historic town dotted with shops and sake breweries. It's one of the few places in Japan that has managed to preserve its old castle town charm and also happens to be a great place to find good eats. My name is Michelle, you're watching Tokyo Pass 3 and these are some of the most appetizing things you'd find in Takayama. First up, Yakiniku. If you eat meat, Hida beef is a must-try. It's among Japan's most prized Wagyu beef, known for its rich marbling and melt-in-your-mouth texture. One of the best ways you can enjoy this is at a yakiniku restaurant. I went to one called Akaria where you can taste test different cuts as well as try out different dipping sauces. At around 5,000 yen, this was most definitely a splurge but it was worth it. Next we have beef sushi. Don't worry, it's not raw but simply medium rare. At Kotte Ushi, you can get a set of three different flavors for 1,000 yen. Takesumi salt, ginger soy sauce, and one wrapped in seaweed and topped with raw quail egg. These three are placed on a senbei rice cracker, which is also edible. I usually like my meat well done, but I had no problem enjoying these, so I really recommend you try it. Number 3. Beef Skewers and Beef Croquette you can find these two in plenty of shops in Takayama, but I chose to get both from Jugemu. You get the food tickets from a vending machine where there are four types of beef guts to choose from. I got the loin and it was so soft and flavorful. The croquette was crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside, but be warned, both of these combined can feel quite heavy on the tummy. Number 4. Yuman Last on our list of beef dishes is gyuman or beef bun. You can find a lot of meat buns in Japan, but since we're in Takayama, of course the popular meat filling is beef. I got mine from Hida Gyuman Honpo because as far as I could tell, they were the only ones selling it with cheese. Served steaming hot, the bun is soft and tasty, but the best part is the juicy beef inside. Number 5. Takayama Ramen one of the fun things about visiting different regions of Japan is trying out local versions of ramen. Takayama ramen is characterized by its thin curly noodles and light chicken and soy sauce broth. If you're a fan of light tasting ramen, you'll probably enjoy this one. Number 6. Gohei Mochi and Mitarashi Dango You can't miss these rice-based snacks because they're sold at different joints in Takayama. Gohei mochi is a flat grilled rice cake while mitarashi dango are round rice dumplings. Both are coated in soy sauce and sugar. In many parts of Japan, mitarashi dango is usually coated in a sort of glaze, which makes this one here in Takayama quite unique. You can buy these two from different shops, but my suggestion is fukutaro because you can sit down and have tea while enjoying the atmosphere of this beautiful cafe. Number 7. Tofu after all that meat, this was such a welcome break. Located in the historic street of Kamisan no Machi, Noguchiya offers a variety of tofu dishes. I got the moriawase set, which is a mix of everything, and the tofu lover in me could not be happier. This was tofu heaven. This comes with rice and miso soup, and the owners even gave me a side dish that was on the house, so I was pretty full after this. Moving on to desserts, we have warabi mochi, particularly this matcha set from Kisako Katsute. I mean, just look at it! Warabi mochi is a jelly-like type of rice cake often covered in roasted soybean flour. At Katsute, the roasted soybean flour is served in the center, giving the classic dessert a unique visual appeal. Paired with frothy green tea matcha, it is the perfect afternoon snack to indulge in as you take a break from exploring Takayama. Number 9. Matcha Pudding You'll find many eye-catching desserts at this gorgeous cafe called Hanafuka, but I found the matcha pudding most appealing. These two balls on top are crunchy bean snacks. The pudding is silky smooth and blended perfectly with just enough sweetness. It's a nice way to cap off a savory meal. And finally, we've got yaki imo or roasted sweet potato because in Takayama, there's a vending machine that sells them. You can get them either hot or cold and they come in these canisters that you do have to throw in a designated bin. The roasted sweet potato is packed in plastic and it's made to look like newspaper. I got the cold one and ate it on the bus home and it was just how I like my roasted sweet potatoes. Creamy and a tad sweet. 
I've pinned the location and linked it below so don't miss it when you visit Takayama. And those are my recommendations for what to eat when in Takayama. I sure ate a lot to make this list, so if you found it helpful, leave it a like, drop a comment, or share among friends. This has been Michelle for Tokyo Pass 3. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!